Okay, guys, we need to talk about this. If you are launching a Squarespace website for your client, should you pay for the website? To some of you, this answer may be very obvious, but to many, and when I first started out, this answer was not obvious. I fretted over the idea of, do I tell the client they have to pay me a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, and on top of that, they'll have to pay for the website? I didn't know how to position that or make that work. So in this video, I'm going to walk through the answer and a process that will give you confidence when you work with a client on how to make sure everything is clear. Okay, so the short answer is this. No, you should not pay for the website. There are a few reasons why. I will list off one or two. There were probably more, but this is what you want to keep in mind. First and foremost, Squarespace is going to save your credit card information on their account, which means they can basically charge anything that Squarespace offers to the card on file. And that is a big no-no. Secondly, even if that wasn't possible, Squarespace's billing system will automatically renew every month or year, whatever type of subscription they have on your card. And that is just not a good way to set up a healthy client relationship. You don't want to have to message them in a few days or a few months or in 10 months or 11 months to ask them to switch the card. Maybe they don't. Maybe their site goes down because they don't gets complicated you don't want to make it complicated here is a better alternative from the beginning of the project the client is very clear that they will be paying for the website now most clients understand that but if they don't they'll ask and you'll clarify that right away so if they ask you so it'll cost me fifteen hundred dollars to design the website great are there any other fees i need to be aware of and you could let them know beyond that, the only thing they need to consider is going to be their Squarespace account, which is website hosting. And if they already have a domain, they're good to go. And if they need to buy a domain, well, they need to pay for that as well. And that is the basics for launching a website. There are a ton of things you can consider. And this whole payment thing you could actually use to your advantage while you're working with a client to make sure the relationship stays healthy. So let's say you're at the point of the process where you're ready to go live with the client. Before you give backend access to the website, this is the part where you request final payment from the client because you are going to give them full ownership of the website. That way you ensure you get your final payment. And when you pass it off to the client, there's no funny business that can happen. This is not something you have to worry about with most clients, but it works in a really clean way for the client and you in the relationship. So they will make final payment. And once they make final payment, at that point, you could give them back end access to the site. You may do training and other things, but at that point, you will show them how to pay for their website and you will instruct them on how to do that. They'll put in their card information. You could do it over the phone or do it in any other way, but I recommend giving it off to the client, showing them how to do it, record a Loom video or something. I think I have a video on my YouTube channel that walks you through setting up billing. Walk them through that process. And as soon as they do that, the site is ready to go live for you to connect the domain or whatever else that might look like. Oh, and a pro tip that might be useful in this process is let them know what they need to sign up for so they don't have to go back and forth. So for example, if you used a lot of custom code, they'll need a business plan. And if they're doing a lot of e-commerce and they're launching with a bang, you probably want a commerce plan. And those are just a few things to keep in mind. But overall, it's a simple process. I have never paid for a client's website. I have never dared even consider putting my card in for them, even for the time being. Even if they tell me they'll pay me back later, it makes no sense for me to do that. The card information should work perfectly. If they have an issue, contact Squarespace. It is not an issue that necessarily my credit card should solve. And boom, you are ready to go. I remember before I started designing websites on Squarespace for clients, this was one of the things I really worried about. If this is something you're concerned with or you're at this point of the journey, watch some of my other content about becoming more confident and how you can develop your skill set as a designer, I have videos about how to double your rate, about how to make 5K on the side, keep your corporate gig, make 5K on the side as a freelance designer, and other things that could be useful to you as you begin. 
If you got value from this video, hit that like button. And if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.